Attorney General Jeff Sessions says he will not prosecute Clintons or deep state crooks. Sessions is compromised and must go. Jason Shavitz, former House of Representatives member and chairman of the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, was on justice with Judge Janine Pirro Saturday night, and he again dropped a bombshell about Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Judge Janine, what can you do? Shavitz, yeah, the State Department has been holding tens of thousands of documents on a case that they claim is closed, and when I met with Attorney General Sessions, much like Ron DeSantis did, I basically got a stiff arm. I got an attorney general that said he would not comply. He wasn't going to do any sort of prosecution, and it's such a huge difference. When he was a senator, he would have never put up with that. Judge Janine went on to ask if Sessions was afraid of them, i.e., meaning the deep state. She also asked if they all, meaning Congress and Washington politicians, had so many skeletons. The judge then correctly stated that this is driving Americans crazy and the American people have had it. When asked whether Jeff Sessions should be out, Shabbat's correctly responded, well, I don't know what the case is to keep him. A month ago, Shabbat's was on with uh, Judge Janine, and he then dropped his first bombshell on Sessions. I can tell you that while I was in Congress and the chairman of the Oversight Committee, I did go over and visit with Attorney General Sessions, and it was one of the most frustrating discussions I've had because whether it was the IRS, Fast and Furious, the email scandal that we went through, I did not see the Attorney General willing to just let Lady Justice administer justice and then follow through. I understood maybe the last six months of the Obama administration. So, this was the older one, I would assume. Mark Stein was on Shabbat's. Uh, was on after Shavitz and after nothing, his shock uh, summed up the following, the foundation of a healthy society is that it's a land of equal law. We at the Gateway Pundit asked last week, who did Deep State catch Jeff Sessions in bed with? Sessions' actions as Attorney General are the opposite of what a decent Attorney General would do if he was seeking justice. Sessions is compromised and as a result he is no better than Obama's corrupt and criminal Attorney General Holder and Lynch. Sessions is now the biggest snake in the swamp. Nothing gets done and nobody gets investigated, prosecuted, or punished for criminal deeds because of Sessions. Sessions is the swamp. He must go. We'll take a little listen here. Uh, we're also going to talk about Washington's words here to break it all down. Former Utah Congressman Jason uh, Chaffetz now uh, Fox and Cheerio. All right, Jason. All right, Jason. Uh, I also have a letter here to uh, Jeff Sessions from you uh, referring to Brian Pagliano. You see, it all comes back, Congressman, to the same stuff. You guys have been pushing for months and for years to get to the bottom of it. And as they push back, Clinton and Pagliano and all the rest of them, they keep asserting the it. They keep they keep denying and they keep saying, you know, we don't have anything. Even the State Department today, 70,000 pages that have been uh, ordered by a federal judge, they won't even deliver it. What, what, what can you tell us about what's being done now and what can you do? Yeah, it's been more than a year. The State Department is holding tens of thousands of documents on a case that they claim is closed. And when I met with Attorney General Sessions, much like Ron DeSantis did, I, I basically got a stiff arm. I got an Attorney General that said he would not comply. He wasn't going to do any sort of prosecutions. And, and it's it's such a huge difference. When he was a senator, he would have never put up with that. But the deep state is very real. They're pushing back. It needs to continue to be exposed. But you can't do the it's basic overs. Sorry, the demands that you this. see, look, look, Congressman, 
I'm so happy you got oversight. And, you know, even though you're not a congressman anymore, Rod's got the oversight. You guys do not have a grand jury. You cannot impanel a grand jury. You cannot prosecute. No. You cannot put someone in jail. All right? So I'm happy what you're doing is great. Congratulations on what they're doing. What does a president have to do to get Sessions to do his job, to get rid of Rosenstein, who, app uh, uh, who appointed uh, Mueller, and all his crazy cabal? What do you tell the president? Just on the basic fact, are you conflicted or not? Do you have any conflict of interest based on bar rules, but also based on the rules? The president should ask, do you have any conflict of interest? And, and the, the uh, chief of staff can also do this. General Kelly can do this and say, do you have a conflict of interest? If there is a conflict of a case they're investigating, they need to step aside immediately. Okay. So Mueller should say immediately he has a conflict. He never told, as far as we know, yeah. anyone that he was on that Uranium One underlying case. He never talked about his relationship with Comey. And we're not sure that he even told anyone on Cepheus when all the uh, Clinton-connected people and the Clinton Foundation-connected people said, oh, it's okay to sell our uranium and let's not tell anyone about it. I mean, what do you think of that? I don't think there's any reason why Congress can't call up each of the uh, nine, uh, they were uh, cabinet level people, they can call up each of the nine people and ask them why was it in the best interest of the United States of America to give 20% of our uranium reserves essentially to the Russians. And, and, and there's no reason why Congress did, but Congress doesn't have the guts to do it. That's why? it's part of the reason I left, Janine, because I the judge because I got so frustrated with the fact that Congress will not stand up for itself, and our leadership does not think this is important. Do they all have so many skeletons? I mean, what is it? You know, the American people are out of their minds right now. This is the kind of thing. No one has a problem if if someone makes a mistake, you punish them. But it's one after another after another the cash the payoffs the pay to play the in your face try me try me i dare you this is outrageous the american people have had it congress does not have the ability to enforce a subpoena the only way to enforce a subpoena on the department of justice is to go to the department of justice that has to change there has to be a fundamental change so that congress can get to the courts should the Jeff only thing be out well, I don't know what the case is to keep him in this place right, if he's right. not going to look at the obvious conflicts of interest. I think that is a legitimate question for him. Give him a week or so, uh, maybe 10 days, and say, have you or have you not looked at the conflicts of interest? If he has, then let's see the answer to that, because at least on the surface, these people are all conflicted and should not be prosecuting or investigating cases they were already involved with. Jason Chaffetz, thanks for your honesty. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, you heard it here, folks. Jeff Sessions should be out, and that's why Shavitz left. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.